Hey everyone, Andrew Garcia here with Drew TV, and uh, the subject is really going to be about society and how in today's society you need to be able to be yourself, you need to be able to understand yourself, own yourself, stand your ground, and fight for your freedoms. You have to. Today's age, there is a lot of pressure on people to be what they want you to be. And unfortunately, you can only be the best you that you can possibly be. You can't be what everybody else wants you to be. It's just not possible. You have to be the best you you can possibly be. That's it. There's, there's no other options in this world. If you try to be the best somebody else wants you to be, you're not going to truly be yourself, first off. So you're losing right off the bat. And second of all, you're, you're actually just giving up on what really makes you you and what makes you and yourself shine and shine bright. Because you can shine really bright when you own yourself. When you own your own weaknesses, your own strengths, your abilities, your incapabilities, when you own that, there's nothing anybody in this world can do to stop you. And trust me, they are going to try. People will try day in and day out day in and day out. They are going to try. So the question becomes, how do you really, really start becoming the best you, the best version of yourself, the best you that you can be? Well, the first thing you need to do is really dive in and think about what it is that really matters to you the most. And if it's a positive thing that really matters to you, you need to attack and go forward with that and run with that and stay true to that and never compromise. There is no compromise. A lot of people consider my confidence as an arrogance. It's not an arrogance. It is the fact that I know what I know that I know that I know. It's like someone coming up to you and telling you that one plus one doesn't equal two. We all know one plus one one plus one is two. There's no way around that. It is not one plus one is three. No, it, it, it doesn't work that way. It, it just really doesn't. I mean, if you want to look at it from a Christian standpoint or a religious standpoint, yes, I mean, I do understand and I get it. One plus one plus one equals three and there is a there's a reasoning behind that but when you're coming down to some basic true math i mean one plus one is two it's not three it's not four it's not five those are different numbers and that's why they have different verbiage and words for those because they're completely different numbers one plus one is always going to equal two nobody can deny that so why are you going to listen to somebody else who's trying to tell you that it's a different number don't worry about those people that is one of the major problems I think that a lot of us here in society have is that we want the approval of others to be able to do what we feel is right. And if you truly feel it's right in your heart, just do it. Because if it feels right in your heart, it's not going to be a bad thing. If you have to worry about it and think about it or question it, it you maybe evaluate what you, you know what you think is right. But I mean, if you know that it's right in your heart, it's because it's coming from a pure place. It's coming from the universe. It's wanted in this world. It's needed in this world. And society really needs to stop judging each other, thinking that we can impose our will on another human being. It's just, I'm sorry, it doesn't work that way, especially here in America. Here in America, I mean, you have the right to individuality. You have your right to liberty, your freedom, your pursuit of happiness. And, and those are inalienable rights. Those are something that they put into a constitution over 200 years ago because they knew that the second that you try to manipulate somebody else and try to influence and tell them how they need to be, they are no longer going to be the best version of themselves. We knew that 200 and something years back, almost 250 years back, we knew this. So why over 200 years later, two centuries later, we're trying to impose that will back on others again. Don't let it happen. Just don't let it happen. I mean, let the rest of the world, if that's what they want to do, let them do that. 
But you personally, if you want to be the best version of yourself and you want to dive into yourself, start being you. Just do you. I guarantee you, you'll start feeling better. And do things that you know are the right thing to do. And if you keep doing them, you'll get addicted to it. And you'll start building up a high level of confidence in yourself where you know that you know that you know. So no matter what anybody else may say or think about you, you know personally how you personally are. And you're not affected by it. In fact, it actually starts to become entertaining. At this point in my life, I am so confident in who I am and I know myself so well that everybody who tries to attack me and make me doubt anything that I do, you're just entertainment for me at this point. It's like um, Cat Williams had said, you know, if you got 10 haters, you need to be working on getting 20, boo-boo. Like, you know, it, it really is true, though. I mean, like, you really want, the more people who actually start hating you for who you truly are because you're becoming your true self, that means that what you're doing is working. That means that the evil out there is trying to pull you down. There, it's called the crab mentality. They, you know, everybody can get, all the crabs can get out of the bucket, but you know, instead of working together, they try to pull each other down and keep each other in. And you don't want to be part of that. You want to get outside that bucket because outside the bucket is where life really begins. So with that being said, I mean, I just encourage every last one of you out there to truly just be yourself. Be you. It's the reason I'm even doing this video in the first place. This is me. This is how I'm able to express myself and to encourage others to do the same. I feel good about encouraging others to be themselves. Let your light shine. Because when you let your light shine, you give others the opportunity to do the same. And this world would be beautiful if everybody's light could just shine in a true progressive way. So with that being said, I mean, I just want everybody to think about that one more time. Have confidence in yourself. Believe in yourself. And don't worry about the naysayers. Don't worry about what they got to say. It's dirt off your shoulder. Shrug it off. It doesn't really even matter. In the end, think about it. It really doesn't matter. They're not you and they don't live your life. So why let them influence it? I love you all. Be great, everybody. Drew TV. If you like this message, please like, subscribe, share, leave some comments down below. Obviously, it helps with the algorithms. And uh, definitely make sure you check in because I'm going to start putting out a lot more of these. Um, I'm starting to realize, especially in 2021, with everything happening around this this you know global pandemic that we've st we are still in, we need more of this. We need more people standing up. We need more people speaking their minds. And we need more people to play their part and their role in making this world a better place. Be great, everybody. Talk to you soon.